Have you ever wanted to switch to Linux? Well, today we're doing something different, and that is I'm going to try Unreal Engine on Linux to see if it provides a better alternative to the current state of Windows for game development. So to begin with, I was researching what versions of Linux I should use, and I've decided I'm going to use Arch Linux. I know it's not the simplest one to install. I could have installed Mint, and that could be an easier solution, but I may as well just go into the deep end. I'm putting it onto a separate SSD anyways, so worst case scenario, I still have Windows here. So, once I managed to get the version of Arch that I wanted, I had to flash it to my USB. But, I've never done that before, because Windows, you get the installation toolkit. So, I did some research, I got an app here that allows me to flash the USB. I can't remember the name of it, I think it's... I'll double check it and put it in post, don't worry. Belena Exer, that's what it was called. I completely forgot the name of that, whoops. So once I got that done, it was straight to the BIOS I went. Because I currently have two SSDs, so I knew I could throw Linux on my spare one. When it came to installing Linux, I opted for Arch install. It's an installation package which just makes the install of Arch Linux much easier. You can get predefined, you can get predefined desktops, you can set up all the packages, and you install everything that's necessary to actually use the system from the get-go. It made it a lot easier to actually set up. And if anyone else is trying to install Arch Linux in particular, I highly recommend it. So with setting up Arch Linux, I chose KDE Plasma as my desktop environment. Which, so far, I have to say, it's been brilliant. So many shortcuts, it also boots up and feels a lot faster than Windows from my usage, which is a real change. Because I went back to Windows a few times and I felt like I couldn't get anything done because it was just slow. I'm giving this a try. I have no idea if this video footage will work, but we're on Linux now. So welcome back everyone. And I'm going to try and install Unreal Engine. From what I know, I need to actually install it from its source, a build file I can find online, and we'll see how that goes. I wonder if my projects I can open up or how that will work. But yeah, we're on Arch Linux and we are using the KDE Plasma. And I have to say, I spent today playing Minecraft and performance wise, brilliant. Tried some Path of XL2 and some Helldivers and I have no complaints so far. I tried various different games. I even played the finals only recently, coming into post edit, and they all run flawlessly. So if you are interested in Arch Linux and just for gaming and not even programming, honestly, unless you're playing Rainbow Six Siege or a few games that just don't let you enter because of anti-cheat, I do really recommend it. I tend to get better performance on most of the games anyways here than I did on Windows. Now granted, I am on an AMD based system, so it could differ if you're using NVIDIA. So I have Unreal Engine up and running. Wow, okay. Let's see how this goes. We're going to create a... Well, no, I can't create a C++ because it's not configured. Maybe if I... Add Visual Studio installed. So maybe if I launch it first, we'll see. Uh, okay, maybe if I, maybe if I reopen the Unreal Editor now. See, the thing is I've not configured it yet. So it could be a case that it won't be configured until I boot up a blueprint project maybe what we'll do is we will create a top-down c++ your ide visual studio code is missing or incorrectly configured let's see uh, top down the top down i mean the top down top down version seems to be working all right doing what it's supposed to at least post edit me back here again what i realized was i was supposed to install visual studio not through the app installer that's built into kde but instead i was meant to build it from source so yeah that's what you've seen me do in the background here 
Well, no. What's most important right now is we want to install all our fab assets to this project. The only issue is we don't have access to it yet. Yeah, it would have been smart to install fab from the main Unreal Engine page for Linux. So yeah, I'm gonna paste that in now. And here we have fab, which is what I was looking for. Now, in theory, if I built up Linux, built up Linux, if I built up Epic Games Unreal Editor again, it should in theory work and have fab working in it as well. And we have fab. Beautiful, it's all working, hopefully. At least I hope fab loads on Linux. Lovely, I do not know what's going on. I'll take another look at it later and we'll figure it out together. Hopefully I can get this working. So I've learned fab does not work in Unreal Engine on Linux at all whatsoever. Now it could be an issue on my end, but I really can't figure it out. However, I did find an application on the KDE install. However, I found an application within KDE called the Asset Library Manager. And with Asset Manager Studio, you just log into your account. It has all your fab assets, plugins, and also your Unreal assets and plugins, all available to download. You can install it into a project, or you can install it into a separate folder and put it into a project after. So that's what I did. Now, the next task that I had to get done was, of course, installing Git, because all my projects are stored on GitHub, and I need my projects on Linux to work on them. We also want to see if we can bring a Windows project with all the Windows plugins and everything else all over to Linux. So I spent a lot longer than I care to admit trying to log into my GitHub. I figured it out afterwards. Personal access token is the actual token I copied, not, not the name of it. I'm, yeah, it's working now. I can't show you anything, of course, but what I've done is I have pulled my dissonance project over to Unreal here, and we're going to give it a go and see if it works out of the gate. Might have to install some plugins, but we're going to see how we can manage that. So, two days later, and several issues in debugging later, it turns out checking a print string was what was preventing my code from booting on Linux. Now, do, does anything actually work? We'll see. It seems to be working as normal. Uh, yeah, everything seems to be behaving as it should. Okay, yeah, everything's behaving. I don't see any uh, issues for being on Linux. A lot of noise, but it's working and there's no errors. Right, that took way longer than it should have and it is because the issue that was wrong was a print string in one of the files and not anything else. I don't even know how, the, the, the code that I was using, I don't even know how it got in there. I don't know if it was from building the project that it auto altered things, but sure. It works now. Uh, post edit me again. So once I got that all set up, I spent the past week, week and a half working in Linux because I really wanted to get a good feel for how the system is and on if you should switch to Linux as well. If it was better off than Windows or what are the downfalls? And well, you could see throughout this video, there were a lot of issues as I was getting it set up. But once I did get a set up, Issues were very minimal. There was a plugin here that I couldn't use. It was a water plugin built into the editor for whatever reason would crash every time I would use it on Linux. But other than that, I had pretty much free reign on the system of everything I wanted. The only downside is if I want a package for Windows, I have to bring the project back over and package it on Windows itself. Now, I could be completely wrong. If any of you know an alternate method for doing that, please let me know down below. I have to say, so far, Linux has been great. I've been playing video games on it, 
any games that aren't supported by Linux natively, I've played through Wine. And then Minecraft and any other games I have played, performance has been way better. I did have issues with DaVinci Resolve though. I'm actually using an editor called Caden Live. And to be honest, it's a pretty solid editor. It has everything I need compared to DaVinci, but it also is a little bit more lightweight. It's not as dense, I would say. So there may be features that certain people may want to use in DaVinci only. I know you can get DaVinci working. It just didn't want to work with any of my old video footage because it was a different encoder versus what Linux supports. Because yeah, MPEG is not supported on Linux. So any footage like I had from Windows was just straight up not supported out of the gate, but I needed to use the footage here for this video. So I got it working. Caden has been great to use so far. I've made a few shorts and I have this video currently being edited in it as well. So after all my thoughts, should you switch to Linux? Well, as I said in the end, it depends on what you do. If you really need Adobe software or you need to play Rainbow Six Siege for whatever reason, well then you'd want to stay on Windows. But if you feel like trying a different system or breaking away from Windows like I did because Windows was just causing you issues upon issues, then I'd highly recommend giving it a go. If you have a spare SSD, even just put it onto that SSD and give it a go there. And if you change your mind later, just go back to Windows. That's everything for today's video and I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next one.